Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today po is I'll be giving you some important tips especially for incoming first year law students. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. By the way, I'm Jeremiah and I upload law school and law student related vlogs. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell so that you not subscribe or you can just simply click the click here in a circle Jan Samai Corner. So let's get to the video. Hey you guys and welcome po to another video. Yes po, it's July 2020 and next month po will be the start of most of the classes. So today po is I'll be giving some important tips po for incoming law students. But disclaimer lang po, this is not survival tips na ibibigay ko po because I'm not yet finished sa law school. So technically, I haven't survived law school yet. So ito po is technically magamit ng mga incoming first year law students, especially sa first week o first month nila sa law school. So, if you're interested, then yeah, let's start. Okay, first po is readings. Marami pong nagtatanong sa akin kung ano pong mga dapat basahin, especially for incoming law students. Ano nga bang dapat nilang basahin as preparation for law school? So, ang may advice ko po is, please start reading the Constitution. Start familiarizing yourselves with the Constitution. Bakit po? Because po, lahat po ng laws po natin dito sa Philippines are based and in line with the Constitution. So, lahat ng present, mga napasa na mga laws before and even those future laws na, na lalabas dito sa Philippines are always in line with the Constitution. So, it would be a great help po for you incoming law students if you are well familiarized with the Constitution. So, please start reading the Constitution. Guys, don't worry po because ang Constitution po is hindi mahirap na itindihin. The Constitution is not actually using like mga malalalim na English or even Latin maxims or mga ganun na words. Madali lang po intindihin ang constitution and remember guys, ang constitution po is the fundamental law of the land. So again, sabi ko nga kanina, lahat po ng mga laws natin sa Philippines are in line with the constitution. And have you heard about the term na unconstitutional? ba diba, nababalita po yung term na unconstitutional, may mga laws na unconstitutional because if ang law po is hindi in line with the constitution or taliwas po siya sa constitution natin, so it is eventually declared as an unconstitutional. So again, you have have to start reading the constitution. Aside from the importance of the constitution, you also have to familiarize with, with the history of our constitution. Bakit we are using 1987 constitution? Kasi marami po akong nababasa, mga nagtatanong na bakit daw gumagamit pa tayo ng 1987 constitution a year 2020 na po ngayon. So for you to know why we are using 1987 constitution, so dapat nyo pong basahin ang mga brief history ng ating constitution. I-add ko na rin po, you have to start memorizing the preamble because for sure you will be required to memorize the preamble. So kasama po yan sa constitution at isalin nyo na rin po yung article number 1 which is the territoriality principle. Kasi po importante po yan na kailangan nating memorize yung preamble tsaka yung territoriality principle. Naalala ko po nung first year kami, yun po yung nirequire sa amin na i-memorize talaga. So that would be my first na tip. Next po, you have to prepare for an intro, introduction. I'm not saying na this is necessary, but may mga professors po kasi na during sa first day or sa first week of your law school, they will be asking you some questions. You have to introduce yourselves before the class, tapos sinatanong dyan, why did you decide to proceed to law school? Why did, why did you want to become a lawyer? Parang ganun na mga questions actually. Kung ano bang mga pinaglalaban mo, kung ano bang gusto mong ipaglaban in the future, tapos pag naging lawyer ka, sa ang field ka na gusto mag-concentrate, are you going to to focus on criminal laws or di kaya sa civil laws or di kaya sa commercial laws. So, yun guys, you have to prepare po your yourself for those questions because again, some professors will be asking you those questions during the first week po, during the introduction po ng mga students. Just make like a short introduction po for yourself para po hindi ka po magulat kapag tinanong na po kayo ng inyong professors sa law school. Kasi naalala ko po nung sa amin, wala po kasi nag-advise sa akin na meron palang ganun. Actually, medyo nagulat ako kasi sabi ng professor namin sabi okay so since this is our first meeting so I want to get to know my students and so tinawag na kami isa-isa tapos pina-introduce and we have to give our reasons why we choose to proceed to law school parang ganon so kayo guys you have to prepare your introduction also kung hindi man tanungin then ayos lang at least you are prepared okay 
Next po, ito, this is common and I'm not sure if this is still applicable to everyone since most of the law schools right now will be adapting online classes. But please prepare pa rin po because tulad nung sa amin, may balibalita po na meron kaming online classes tas meron din kaming physical na classes kasi hindi naman kami ganun karami so the room can just accommodate us with proper distancing. So please prepare po index cards. So index cards po, yung maliit po na, I mean, you know index cards cards, right? Bakit? Para saan ba yung index cards? Yung index cards po, I think you've seen some memes about law schools. Yung index cards po ay ginagamit po ng mga professors natin para pang raffle draw joke. Kasi po, yun usually yung ginagamit ng professors natin kapag may receipt na, or some professors are using the index cards to check your attendance, pag may mga tanong, pag may readings, or di kaya, basta anything na may gagawin sa klase, most of the professors will be relying on the index cards. Iba kasi hindi na nagdadala ng laptop, or di kaya ng class record so they'll just bring their index cards with them tapos nagra-raffle sila kung sinong tatawagin oh ito oh san si ano san si ano parang ganun guys some of the professors also they will be requiring you to attach your photos sa index cards so prepare those pictures kahit one by one or di kaya two by two pictures just prepare guys just be ready with those things if ever man na may may face to face classes kayo so I think your professors will be requiring that from you Next tip ko po is, you have to know your professors. Yes po, you have to do a research about your professors. Hindi naman research kung anong mga buhay nila or whatever. Just know their identity. You have to know, especially mga first year students, hindi nyo po alam kung sino magiging professors nyo sa inyong klase. Maybe you know their names but you you don't know them in person kung anong itsura nila. So gawin nyo po as much as possible, you have to know kung anong itsura nila para po kung magkita man kayo sa hallway, kilala nyo po kung si nung dapat nyong iwasan. Joke. Hindi po. Para kilala nyo po kung sino po yung mga professors nyo. Because guys, I remember this is a, I think this is a funny na experience. But nung first year po, like the first day or second day ng, ng classes, I was talking with my classmates sa hallway. Tapos we were, we were like talking. Tapos may approaching po na babae. She's like in her early 40s na siguro yun. Tapos, hindi ka naman expect na she's part of the faculty. She's one of the professors ng college namin, ng College of Law. So hindi ko So, hindi, hindi ako nag-greet or hindi kami nag-greet because yun nga, hindi namin kilala. Tapos like 5 meters from from us, kasi ako yung medyo naharap sa kanya, like binigyan niya ako ng head to foot talaga na, na, na parang pinag to foot niya ako talaga. Like she was like tapos yung kilay niya parang parang medyo medyo nakakatakot basta binigyan niya akong ganun tapos ako kasi wala akong idea kung professor ba siya o hindi so hindi ako na good morning or eh, hindi ako na greet or anything kasi nga sa law school din kasi nabanggito na to dati napaka diverse po ng age range ng law students so there are times na may mga kaklasi ka who are 50 plus or 40 plus meron namang mas bata so hindi mo talaga majajudge if they are your professors or they are students so ako naman parang sinabi ng aba ka student lang to because parang yung yung dating niya din kasi parang okay she looks younger sa age niya so hindi ako nag-greet ng good evening attorney or what then after like yun nga hinad to foot niya ako buti na nga lang din hindi ko siya parang hindi ko siya binigyan ng masamang tingin so after like a week during our orientation for first years pinakilala in public yung mga professors namin sa law school nagulat na ako because yung yung babae pala na yun is one of the faculties and as, as a matter of fact she is a judge so buti na nga lang at hindi ko siya binigyan ng masamang tingin or masamang look parang ganun ba so yun lang guys I hope you you learned something from my experience though if I'm going to recall it like right now it's more like a funny experience pero medyo nakakatakot talaga siya if you're going to experience that one because some of the professors hindi nyo alam kung anong magiging attitude nila towards their students yung iba po ay medyo strict especially some really wants to have respect from their students na kailangan mag ka o ganun. So again, mas mabuti na po na you do, you conduct a research about your professors. Kung sino ba sila, kung ano bang itsura nila. And mad madali lang yan guys. Nasa department na pa yan eh. May organizational chart dyan. Makita nyo sa, sa bulletin. O di kaya naman, ipunta kayo sa office of the dean. Makikita nyo dyan yung mga faculties, yung professors nyo. Makikita nyo kung mga ano itsura nila. Para alam nyo po kung sino po mag magiging professors nyo sa law school. And aside from knowing their identities, conduct a research of their like rules 
sa classes, if may kakilala kayo na nasa higher na years na, second year or third year, you better ask them kung anong magiging, magiging procedure ng professor nyo sa klase, during the exam, during the discussion, during the recitation, or whatever, para at least you will have a heads up kung anong may expect nyo during their classes, during your classes, tapos kung anong magiging approach nyo sa magiging procedure nila sa classes nyo. Mas maganda talaga pag alam mo na kung may idea ka na kung anong magiging procedure nila sa classes niyo. So you better do your research sa magiging professors niyo po sa law school. Next tip po is about money. Guys, hindi ko to nagawa last time nung incoming first year ako because I wasn't expecting na medyo expensive and medyo magastos talaga yung law school. Aside from the tuition, guys, I tell you, mahal po ang books sa law school. Isang book will cost you at least 1,000. Yung iba umaabot ng almost 2,000. Isang book lang yun. So you better prepare your money for those things. Hindi pa kasama yung mga law school essentials. When I say law school essentials, yung mga notebooks, yung highlighters, kung gusto niyo po gumamit ng mga highlighters yung mga pens usually sa mga law students they're using GTEC na, na ball pens parang ganun there are a lot of law school essentials talaga na kailangan niyo pong bilhin yung ibang law students pa since yung mga classrooms natin sa law school ay mga air condition so they will buy pa some additional na sweaters o di kaya hoodies parang tawagin talaga na law student so parang ganun so you better prepare your money you better prepare your pocket for law school aside from those guys marami pang mga activities sa law school that you have to like spend some money for. Like for example, may mga activities na mga acquaintance party, ibang mga parties pa, tapos mga activities. Hindi eh, ko lang alam kung meron kayong ganyan sa campus nyo or sa school nyo. Pero sa amin talaga, nagulat ako because there were a lot of activities na kailangan namin na mag magparticipate. So, pag nagparticipate ka, of course, you have also to, to pay something. So, yun guys, huwag kayong magulat because marami talagang gastos sa law school. You better start saving right now, especially that we are in pandemic. Most of us are nawalan siguro ng trabaho o di kaya napektuhan yung trabaho. Yung iba pa, may, kung may trabaho man, eh, nabawasan yung sahod. Tulad ko po, nabawasan po yung sahod ko kasi wala akong trabaho for the past 4 months. So, yun guys, you have to prepare your money for law school. Next tip ko naman po is be humble at all times. Not just sa first week or sa first day nyo sa law school, but at all times po. Diba? If you remember guys, nung nasa high school tayo, elementary, nung first week or first day natin sa school, we always try to excel agad. Especially if you are a competitive na student, talagang magpapasikata na yan during the first day pa lang sa school. But sa law school po is, as much as possible, iwasan nyo po na magpa-impress sa klase. Bakit po? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that if that is how how you roll talaga. But advice ko lang na iwasan nyo po na magpa-impress agad during sa first week or first day sa law school. Because po, most of the professors, I'm not saying lahat, but most of them, ayaw nila ng mga students who are trying to impress others. Kasi sa paningin po ng professors natin, we are all law students. Ibig sabihin po, we are all students. We are all at the same level. Pantay-pantay po tayong lahat. Kasi, di ba, ang mga students sa, sa law school are, most of them are professionals already. May mga position na sa, sa trabaho o sa buhay, may mga na-achieve na. So, parang tendency niyan, medyo tataas yung ego natin. So, parang gusto natin ipakita sa kanila, ah, may alam ako. But guys, as much as possible, again, refrain from doing that sa law school. May naalala kasi ako, during our first week sa law school, during sa first day namin sa law school, may isang kaklase kami who tried to like to ask the professors. Like, he, he asked a lot of questions to the professor. Tapos, parang, I'm not trying to judge my classmate ha, pero yung questions din kasi niya is parang out of the line na din kasi. Parang hindi na siya about sa, sa topic or sa subject namin. So, he was trying to ask na about the life of the professor, yung experience ng professor namin sa, sa legal field. So, parang yung parang dating ng professor is parang na-offend siya na parang, why are you asking me these questions? Are you questioning my credibility? Parang ganun, guys. Ayun, yung, yung nangyari po is yung professor namin medyo nasagot niya yung, yung kaklase namin na parang with a different tone. So, medyo na offend din yung kaklase namin and what happened eventually the following day hindi na po bumalik yung kaklase namin until po natapos yung first sem hindi na talaga siya napakita until nung second sem hindi na rin siya bumalik so parang ganun yung advice ko lang po is always keep yourself grounded kahit na po doctor ka na or PhD ka na or may masters ka na always keep yourself grounded sa law school kasi nga po nasa law school tayo because we wanted to learn from our professors in other 
other words, wala pa tayong alam sa law school. So, again, as much as possible, be humble and sorry for the term, wag mo muna tayong mag magpa-impress or mag-show off sa law school. I hope you get my point. If I offended you, sorry po. That's how it is kasi. And also guys, during sa classes naman, I'm not saying na it's bad to ask the professors some questions. Hindi naman po. But the more you ask questions, especially ah, during the, the discussion, the more you ask them questions, yung dating po kasi sa professors nyo is that you are asking questions because you are not reading your book, you are not reading the material. Kasi guys, if you haven't read any law book po, annotated na law books, yung mga books kasi na, na yun is talagang very detailed po sila. Like, kung ano mang gusto mong itanong sa professors nyo sa discussion about the lesson, eh, nasagot na po yun agad sa book. So, parang ano, so, if you haven't read your book, the tendency po is you'll be asking your professor. Which is, parang, okay, so you haven't read the, the book. Nangyari din yan nung sa kaklase ko. Nagtanong siya sa professor namin. Tapos, sabi ng professor namin, so, obviously, you are not reading your book. Because yung tanong mo is nasa book na yan. Sinagot na ng book na yan. So, again, if you're going to throw questions or you're going to ask questions, then you better think twice or thrice or think a lot of times before you're going to ask those questions. So, yun po. Next naman po is you have to be friendly. Guys, you have to be friendly with all your classmates because your classmates will save you in ways, in times na hindi nyo po alam na sila lang pala yung makakasave sa inyo. Like for example, there are a lot of times na malilate kayo o may hindi kayo maintindihan sa, sa discussion. So you can ask them about their inputs, kung ano naintindihan nila so they can explain that to you. Or hindi naman kaya if may mga materials na kailangan yung basahin, wala kayo. Tapos yung mga kaklase nyo pala is meron na palang ganun na, na mga copies. So again, always be friendly to everybody. Gawa po kayo ng group chat sa section nyo or sa klase nyo para po may constant communication kayo with your classmates. There are times that the professors will just dictate the GR number of some cases that you have to read tapos hindi nyo po marinig, hindi nyo po maintindihan. So you can ask your classmates. Na experience ko din na I had no time to, to look for those cases but luckily my classmates just sent me the cases sa messenger. So parang ganun guys, there are a lot of times talaga na malaki tulong yung kaklase natin sa law school. So again, you have to be friendly sa mga kaklase niyo po. Next tip, I think this will be my last na tip for you today. Ang tip ko po for first year, you just have to make reading a habit. Basa, basa, basa po talaga. I'm not saying that you have to memorize everything kasi hindi po madaling i-memorize lahat ng laws sa Philippines. Like for example, civil laws, we have like 2,200 plus na articles so you, you cannot just memorize everything. I don't suggest na i-memorize niyo po lahat ng articles. Gawin niyo po is basa, 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 basa lang po. Not just basa, but you have to read with comprehension. Ibig sabihin po nyon is dapat nyo pong intindihin kung ano pong binabasa nyo. Kasi during the exam, during the recitations, you are not required to like state the article verbatim kung ano talagang nakalagay sa book. Yun talaga yung i-discuss nyo word by word. Ang importante lang dyan is you understood the article. You are able to explain it kahit na in your own words. So, you cannot do that if you don't make reading a habit. Okay? So, yun lang po. Basa, basa, basa. Advice ko rin na about reading. Read po or study po. Di ba may kasabihan tayo? You have to study at your own pace. So, huwag nyo pong isipin na yung mga kaklase nyo ay mabibilis mag-study tapos kayo mabagal. So, wala pong ganun guys. Depende po sa ability nyo to grasp information. Remember po, yung law school po is, is not a competition. So, meron lang talagang mga tao na mas mabilis magbasa, mas mabilis maka, maka grasp ng information. You may push yourself but do not push yourself too much. Yung ibang law school students na babasa nyo sa mga Facebook o di kaya sa Twitter, they are studying, they are reading until 4am or 3am, tapos kayo 10pm pa lang, inaantok na kayo, huwag nyo pong isipin na may mali sa inyo. Yung ginagawa ko nga po is kahit 10 or 9 or 11 pa yan, 11pm, if I feel na parang sleepy na, I always cut my reading. Kasi nga po, why will I continue reading if my brain will tell me to stop already? Kung hindi na kaya ng brain cells ko to retain information, so useless din if you're going to stay late at night tapos wala ka namang maintindihan, di ba? So, yun lang guys. Those are my basic po na tips for incoming first year law students. So, I hope I was able to be of good help para sa inyo.
Yun lang guys, if you have any comments about this video, if I said something wrong, or if I said something offensive or declare insensitive, sorry po, and please comment that down below. Tapos, if you have other suggestions or questions, please also write that one sa my comment section below. And yun lang guys, nakalagay din po sa baba yung other social media accounts ko po. I hope you follow me in my other social media accounts. And please, also if you have time, please visit my official na website that is www.lowpressure.com So, andun po nakalagay yung mga, mga nagawa at nasubmit ko po na mga case stages and iba pang mga videos po nakalagay po dun. So, please take some time to visit that website. Yun lang guys. Again po, if you find this video informative, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up and kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell para po may inform ka po for my future na uploads. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.